Okay, check this out. We uh, got the mirrors in. I'm gonna go through the gym again. I'm gonna show y'all what I did in my house today too. There's the full cage power rack with the platform. The flat bench, T-bar extension, half rack. Hung my chains up today with my accessories and my bands, my blocks, my box for doing box squats. There's my good old deadlift platform, my bars. Got my leg press. And of course, we absolutely have to have the pec deck with a reverse pec deck for the rear delts. I love this machine because it's really smooth and easy feeling. I can really target my rear delts really good. Weight tree, sled, progress board, and leg extension, leg curl machine, foam for doing stuff with foam, farm and walk bars. Those are my outside stands for doing like overhead carries or whatever else I feel like doing outside. I got all my dumbbells, empty dumbbell rack, I'll fill up. Now here's mirror number one. All right, got that sucker hung up. And then that way when you're doing dumbbell work, if you want to watch yourself, you can. Elliptical, back extension. Got the incline, decline. And there's an inversion table. Mirror number two, directly lined up with a seated cable. So you can watch yourself as you, as you pull. And then mirror number three, lined up back here. If you want to turn around again, watch yourself. And then mirror number four, lined up with a lateral pull down. So that way, when you're doing the pull downs, you can watch yourself doing pull downs. You can watch your lats if you want to. And then this one right here, obviously. So if you're doing your cable crossovers, you can watch yourself doing your cable crossovers if you want to see your pump, if you're working out for that kind of thing. Accessories hung up. 25,000 BDU with a heater. 12,000 BDU. Adjust the cooling. And then here are my bars. I still, I'm gonna sand these back down. I'm gonna hit them with a wire wheel. Um, that big one right there is 96 pounds. That one's 60. That skinny one is 50. Then the other one is 100. So those are what I use for rolling out my knots. Instead of foam rolling, I use these guys. Okay. So that was the gym. Now let me show you what I get. What, uh, let me show you guys what I did here. Here's my back patio. I didn't really show you guys in the video of this yesterday, but here it is today. I got my stairs back under my hot tub. I got my smoker put up against the house out the weather. I got my chairs, ooh, a 60 inch TV, but it was underwater, so it doesn't work no more. You can see the water line on the bottom there. But maybe I could dry it out and it might work, it might not. If it doesn't, maybe I could get it fixed for cheap. So, and there's, I cleared all this out. I got the old concrete countertops that are thrown out here, thrown away. You can see the imprints in the grass. Those are pretty heavy. But yeah, so I pretty much got all this cleaned up and I cleaned up everything on the front of the house too. It was just a bunch of trash and debris and drywall insulation. I'll show you guys that, but I really doubt y'all would want to see that. So the gym is complete. My yard's cleaned up front and back. Talked to the insurance today and they should be cutting me some money by the end of this week. If that's the case, I can. if my walls are almost dried out, or well, they're almost dried out, and if they do dry out by the end of this week, this coming weekend, I'll be able to start putting insulation in my walls, and I will start should be able to start drywalling. Hopefully Saturday I can get my walls insulated and drywalled, all the walls, and then I can start working on fixing up the house. But the thing I need to do is call my septic company or a place that does septics and get this fixed. This is the um, air pump for our irrigation system for our sprinklers for our septic tanks because what happens is when you uh, sinks and showers go into this tank this fills up it shoots it into this tank this tank filters it and then the sprinklers pop up throughout the yard and it, and it waters the yard while draining my septics now this is just the toilets right there so that one gets serviced three times a year and then my water soft no I, I gotta get that fixed too so the water softener and then the, um, the septics with the drywall insulation, if I could get some sinks in, I should be able to start living here in about two weeks.
things go right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If I do anything else to the house, I'll post it. Maybe not till next weekend, but see how it goes.